One of the things that sometimes interests visitors is that we have plants that are found in other areas of the country or world where the, the leaves or the flowers are much larger. Uh, the coastal sage scrub oak is an example with its very small leaves and visitors are always surprised and find it humorous that that's an oak. Uh, we have a small purplish flower that has larger cousins in other parts of the country. Uh, which one would that be? That would be snapdragon. Snapdragon. And everyone likes it. The, the, they like the shape of the flower, I think, and, and it's shaped that way for a, a purpose. Really? What's the purpose? The lower lip has, has a, a blotched appearance, and that can be the, the landing platform, can also be called a palette. And the upper lip... Landing platform for... For uh, bees. Pollinator bees, okay. And the upper lip has little purple stripes purple white stripes and those are landing guides for the bee and it, it the platform can open only by the correct bees really they need to be a, a certain um, weight so that they can open it but not too heavy so that they fall off <laughs> what a clever flower <laughs> isn't it when do they bloom what's their blooming period oh they're, they're a little later than the, the Phacelias. They're more March and can keep on blooming into the summer. We, we seem to find them in more shaded areas, but is that just coincidence along, say, the eastern side of Guy Fleming? I think it is more coincidence, but, but yeah, you do see them in the sun too. Okay. Like in the, going down Perry Grove, they're in the, the south-facing side of the, the the path, and and they're they share with blue dicks this tendency to poke their heads up through other plants. I guess trying to become visible for for pollinators. Right, visible for the pollinators, but I guess it also makes them visible to the the moths or butterflies that like to lay their eggs on them. <laughs> we saw lots of eaten. Snapdragons this year. Uh -huh.